Well, it's four down, two to go. Our fish and chip journey continues. Well, hello and welcome. Hi. It's chip shop number five already. Number five. Mm, no. We've done the boathouse, Mansell's, Beals, Franco's, and now it's the turn of... Finnegan's, today. Yeah, Finnegan's on Station, Station Hill in Porthcawl. They do have two locations in Porthcawl, don't they? A sit-down restaurant in and takeaway in Well Street near the, near the town. Mm -hmm. And this one on Station Hill. Uh -huh. The one in Well Street, if you sit down, you can order Wine. Wine. <laughs> Wine, fish and chips. That's this good to this be. posh. That's posh. So we're trying the one on Station Hill. If you're looking for it, you don't know the place. It's actually down as New Road, 16 New Road. But everyone calls that area Station Hill. Station Hill isn't big, is it? Yeah, no. so. <laughs> and um Finnegan's, they've got about six. Mm -hmm. They've got six uh, chip shops, two in Swansea, two in Bridgend. No, one in Swansea. Two in Bridgend, uh -huh. two in Porthcawl, and one in the birthplace of Uncle Bryn, Gavin and Stacey, Rob Bryden's Rob home, <laughs> birthplace of Bagland. Bagland. And as you can see, we're back in Griffin Park. That feels out today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're going to eat them again on a bench in Griffin Park. So let's go and get settled. Are you paying today? That's my turn to pay? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's Mel to give you the information. <laughs> okay, so if you're new to our fish and chip reviews, uh, we order just standard fish and chips and an Irish curry sauce as well on the side. We share the chips. Um, and we look for price, portion size, presentation and taste. And we judge it what we get on the day. Yeah, so, and we yeah. mark it out of... Out of 10. Out of 10, out well of 10, done. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for that. Just to clarify what Mel said, it's our opinion and how we find the fish and chips on the day. You may have been to these places and had a different experience, but this is our experience. And obviously we're filming it so you can see. Well, Finnegan's is on Station Hill and it's only about a minute from Griffin Park. Let's go and get some chips. Let's go and get masked up. Today I'm going in combat. So, cod and regular chips and an Irish curry sauce came to £10.60. They, that's the most expensive so far, but they do have offers. I'll show you those now. Should have gone for the Tuesday special. Should have gone. Yeah, eight pounds. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. I was saying I should have gone for the Tuesday special. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Right there, three more fish and chips. Yeah. Do you want yeah. fish and chips together? Yeah, and plenty of sauce vinegar, please. So fish and chip can. What I can't get over in the videos is the actual smell of the fish and chips. Watch your little eyes light up. That's because I've just seen you, not the chips. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> Go for it now. Wow. That's a good portion size. It is. That's regular, by the way. That's a regular fish and chips. Yeah. But the fish and chips nice we had... Nice big slice of the, lemon. The fish we had last week was a small though, wasn't it? Yeah. This is a regular. Yeah. First bite. 
Nice. You say that on everyone. <laughs> We've all been nice as well. We've all been nice, yeah. I wouldn't say any. There hasn't been any that haven't been nice. Yeah, we haven't had any <laughs> bad ones at all, have we? Mm. Mm. It looks quite nice and brown, but not overdone. What's the. Yeah, um, the chips are quite pale though, but the fish isn't. I would say that's probably the perfect colour for fishing. For the fish, yeah. you reckon? Yeah. Don't disturb her when she's eating. Don't put a camera in her face. <laughs> that's a nice fish. I just realised while I'm filming, mm. Mel's eating all the chips. Curry sauce. Don't open that yet. No. Curry sauce. Let's pass the parcel. That smells nice though. It does smell nice. Mm. Hold it. Mm, there we go. <laughs> Can drip it on me. <gasps> you dripped it on me, you stupid man. That's hot. Mel's not happy. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Having curry is really messy, isn't it? Especially when your husband drips it all over your trousers. Mmm. Curry sauce isn't that spicy. It's quite fruity. Stop making that strange noise. I'll just do it more. Does the sound of your partner's eating noises annoy you? <laughs> I bet there's a few people that can say that in lockdown. We haven't had a murder doing these um, yeah. chef reviews. Mm -hmm. She's not happy. Well, you did drop curry sauce in me, and then you did start making strange noises when you start eating. Like what? Ooh. <laughs> it's ketchup time for Mel again. Mm. Here we are. Look at those. Look at those chips. So, how does it compare? How does the fish compare, first of all? I think it's one of the best fish, personally. <clears throat> um, it's quite a large size. But the actual flavour and flakiness. Yeah, it's good, very good. I like it. I think it's uh, I think one of the better fish, definitely. Have you finished, Mel? I'm quite full, actually. Can I have those chips? You can. You want to take them away? Yeah. I like the flavour of the chips. They're slightly paler. It could do with a bit more salt and vinegar. The problem is now, because of the situation, just general health and safety, and obviously COVID, you can't handle the fish, and the salt and vinegar yourself. They put it on for you. And I thought we'd put a lot on, but I would have put a tiny bit more. And because we're eating out, we haven't got salt and vinegar like at home. Yeah. But it's still nice though. <clears throat> and the curry sauce, I thought was okay at first. It's grown on me, it's very nice. One of my favourites so far. Actually, I like the curry sauce. Mm. And I think the fish is really good. At first, I thought it was a bit too fruity, but the heat builds up the spiciness. Yeah, a quick mention about the service. Similar to Franco's last week, the people serving were really polite. Again, they were quite young, in their 20s. Well, everyone's younger to me these days. I'm an old man. <laughs> But they were really helpful and really um, friendly. Uh -huh. Good service, yeah. That's good to know. Let me finish off these chips now. Leave me alone. <laughs> As you can see, it's all gone. That's always a good sign. So we're just putting the wrappers in the bin. So that's the rubbish in the bin. Has Mel forgiven me? 
So you've moved benches. Get away from you. <laughs> Have you forgiven me for a tipping carry down your leg? I managed to get most of it off. Yeah, it was there. It smells nice. Six pound twenty-five for the cod. Regular chips two pound eighty-five, and one pound fifty for the Irish curry. The regular chips was like a large chip, so it wasn't yeah, they easy. were quite big, yeah. So the most expensive so far. Mm -hmm. So that's nine pound ten for cotton chips. Yeah. People saying it's not cheap. Well, fish and chips. I don't think for quality cod and chips, it's not a cheap meal anymore. No, you did say they had a special offer on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. Two <coughs> small cod and chips were eight pound. So on Tuesdays, so that's quite a good offer. Now it comes to the overall score. Stop Three, it. two, oh. one, eight, eight and, and a half. half. Yes. Oh, eight so. and a half. That equals Franco's <coughs> last week. Mm -hmm. And should we do some explaining? Yes. I'll I go first. So. Well, I think I would give it a nine for the chips. And I think maybe nine, yeah, definitely nine, nine and a half for the quality. The only thing is part of the criteria we set is the price. And today's was quite a bit more expensive than the others. Yes. But the quality was good. But as we did point out, saying price is a criteria, mm -hmm. I would say eight and a half. Yeah. I mean, I like the chips. <clears throat> um, perhaps not the best of all of them, but they still were very good. But I think the fish was the best. Yeah, you loved the fish, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. I think um, the quality was there, wasn't it? It was definitely there. And it was, you are paying for quality and portion size there, I think, as well because it was a big portion of chips and it was a, a big fish. Mm. So I only marked it down slightly because of the price. Just to clarify, this is our opinion, how we find it on the day. Yes. And to be honest, out of the five we've done so far, we would recommend every one, wouldn't we? We wouldn't say, yes, yeah, definitely. you know, you have your, people have their favorites for some reason, you know, they yeah. like that one, they like the flavor of that one. But I think if you were in Porth Core in this area, I would recommend any of them. Yeah. It's just, you know. I don't think you can go wrong. You can't go wrong. So, some have got, like, some of the older ones have got quite a bit of a following because mm -hmm. they've been for you. They're very consistent. That's why they're so good. But I recommend you try some of the, uh, yeah. the newer ones as well. Yeah, so just, yeah, give some of the new people a go as well. <clears throat> so, Mel, that's yes. five fish and chips done. Yeah. One more to do. And the, the sixth one is going to be up near Rest Bay in the Rest Bay Precinct there's a fish and chip shop which we haven't tried so we're going up there a few people have mentioned some others but they're seasonal uh -huh. they're not open at the moment so <clears> we're <throat> only trying the ones in Port Core which are open all year round so next time it's Rest Bay okay have you had enough fish and chips I could do with something other than fish for a change. sausage okay a risol <laughs> a <risole>. oh yeah <laughs> so until next time that's a bye from me. And that's a bye from me. Okay. And don't forget to catch up with our other adventures in a video coming up next.